Hi guys, in today's video I want to show you something quite special that I've worked for in the last couple of weeks, which is a field bus in Minecraft. Before I show you what a field bus or explain to you what a field bus in real life is, I want to show you how this works and what this does. So what you can see over here is that I've got a control panel that has a bunch of levers for a bunch of different glass colors and a bunch of levers for a bunch of different beacons. And what you can see over here is that I've got a bunch of different beacons over there. So the really cool thing about this is that each of these beacons can be controlled by this control panel and all there is uh, needed to control them is a single redstone line that is just connected in a random order to the beacon. So what you can see here from the control panel, there's just this one line coming out and it goes into this line and then goes over to these beacons, gets distributed just along this side to over here and then each line and uh, then every single beacon is connected. So I've got 16 beacons here and all these 16 beacons can be controlled through the one redstone line. So, for example, I can say, uh, so this is one, two, three, four, and so on. I want to turn off the force beacon. So I just, uh, just select the force beacon, unselect the other ones, and select the one where the block is above. And then we should see that the signal travels through the redstone line over there. You saw over here how the signal got formed, and now the beacon is turned off. So how does the system know that I want to target this beacon or let's say I want to have uh, yellow beacons and it should be the, uh, the all the four in the first row. So like this and should disable this and uh, send the signal. So let's take a look at the line again. You can see here the, uh, the signal getting formed and we see that all of these changing their color and now all are yellow. So the first step that I'm doing here by these levers on the bottom is controlling uh, these pistons here that then send a, or let a signal pass through for these four beacons and that are the addresses. So the first uh, 16 pistons here are addresses and I'm just sending one tick pulses that are delayed by one tick. And that is uh, why you saw the blocks coming up over here along the line. Uh, because they're getting, uh, so they're producing one tick pulses from the left to the right over here, and then all these one tick pulses get into here, and it it stores the one tick pulses over time, so I can detect if there was a one tick pulse in a certain moment, and uh, that gets then detected by this over here, which is the yeah address detector. I won't go into too much detail here because I think that this is quite complicated redstone stuff. And um, yeah, what uh, is different about these is that um, the repeaters here are five ticks, six ticks, seven ticks, eight ticks, and so on. So these are increased always by one tick, and that is how the address is formed. So I'm checking if the forced signal there is um, activated or the forced one tick pulse is coming through and if there's a one tick pulse coming through then it gets locked into here and if there's no one tick pulse at this uh, specific time then this one uh, gets locked in the off state so this piston won't extend and the signal that comes from there can't travel through to the actual beacon. Then the other or the next thing is uh, the color combination because I can only choose one color I can also say I want to mix pink and yellow and activate it and then the pink and the yellow glass block will be extended. We can see it in just a moment over here. So there's the yellow one and the pink one is lower down I think. Yep, there it is. So um, we store then the signal that comes through. It's also one tick pulses um, by just doing something um, like uh, this. So the signal goes through all of the repeaters and then I lock the repeaters in a certain moment to store the signal. So if it would take only every second block here, I could even grab then the signal from the side here and have the information, like uh, if I do it quickly like uh, this. Um, uh, not fast enough. 
Okay, now I didn't catch it. But yeah, you can imagine that if the signal is coming through, then it gets locked in the repeater. And then I can read the signal that is in this repeater just from the side and activate a sticky piston with that. So let's try. Yeah, I am not fast enough. It's only three ticks here. So that is how I store then uh, the data from the colors into the towers here. You can see it. There's a repeater not locked, not locked. And then up here somewhere there should be uh, the repeater that is locked. Ah, here it is. So this one is locked and that then activates the piston where the yellow glass block is. So that is how I store the data uh, word. And the really cool thing about this is that I can have this device anywhere in my base and I can then target the beacon colors also anywhere in my base. I just need to connect it through one redstone line. It doesn't matter in which uh, order these are connected. And also I can add a second master. This one is in a bit different setup, but it does the same thing. So if I say I want to disable um, the first four uh, beacons again, I can also do it from this control panel. And I think that this is a quite nice concept. If you want to take a look at it, it's on the creative server. So sz.paddy.de. And uh, then you can fly around here and take a look at the redstone if you're interested in that. But I can also imagine using this for other things like you could have a single control panel and then these address detectors on each farm that you're building. And like this you could turn or toggle something in your... Um, yeah, in your um, mob farms or yeah, whatever farms you want to change. And uh, like this, uh, target them. Also, you could target nether portals. And the possibilities of such a system are quite high because then you can have really a central control unit to control everything in your base just through one redstone line. And I really wanted to show it to you. So this is why we had a showcase today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. So until then, have a great day.